who are they? These characters drawn from libidinous encounters of body, mask, and costume within the livid chamber of a dreaming eye. How? How do they move? What do they think in this world where the illusion of reality becomes the reality of illusion? Vertiginous in its constancy to shock, mesmerize, and fabulate. Composing they who performed it, and we, and we who observe them. I am Astarte, pulling apart the taffy of white faces. I am Wonder Woman on Dawn Cloud Rails. I am Mask of distorted myrmidons with my monkey familiars. I am Golgothic Temptation. You can drink from my two stomach tits if you wish to taste the oblivions of hashish. Walking through phantasmic razor bands. I am Dracula's irophone with octopus sucker hands. I am King Carlos devising butterfly grief tremors for my sister of spun honey. We are the zombie clowns crashing Berlin bomb craters for another glass of absinthe. I am Byzantium slave trader holding a gun to my ogre temples. I am guitar mumbo in prefigured radon earthquake. I am Yorick, dreaming of Alfred Jari in Stalinist dungeon, where subway hot dogs, suicide, Bronx rats. I am Madame Flamenco, resting my chin in my hands. I am Dogon Chief, from Pirate, from Pirate from Pirate Zanzibar. The introductions do not end. The tales spin out through night windows. We sit. We sit in a circle about a dancing blue druid who taps out with silver shoes the Morse code of lost Thracian lullabies. Go ahead. Take off your face and put on that mask. The cast from the Mylar chamber calls you. Ritual theater of hallucination. Something visionary. And with a certain flair for the theatrical. They would gather at his loft. Friends and acquaintances in the know. Poets, painters, dancers, musicians, actors, set designers, costumers simply to play, 
to initiate the great adventure of the play. He had built the Mylar Chamber. 16 large wooden panels hinged together, eight sets of doubled panels, and hung dichro and color spots to define the stage. They would don elaborate costumes, fabricate masks, or make up with cosmetics to distill the essence of Rococo estrangement. From Marvel comic book heroes, Baron Mordo, Electromagneto, Doctor Strange, and swordplay movies seen at random in Chinatown, to his work with Jack Smith, the Velvet Underground, the ever fecund audacity provoked by psychotropics. They founded the ambience that marked them. Here they would evolve day by day, a social space for a hidden theater given over to rituals played with all the grace of explorers on the run. Poet explorers inventing for themselves a parallel reality despite and because of the games they lived. Artistic desperation found its haven here. So did the humor and contretemps of Commedia dell'arte. If demons rose here to command with mock attack, so did erotic allurements embrace in civiline flight. If the reflected image suddenly burst into stunningly complex portraits of the created cast, Conjured from a gesture caught in mid-arc, so did the sensibility of objective revelations. If in the sweet chaos of momentous fun, the players found their doubles equal to themselves, so did they find themselves equal to their fantasies. If, from the Mylar chamber, several fates blossomed, having recognized themselves nowhere better, and in whose arc years later they would still refer to several truths and illusions they discovered or reaffirmed or cast off along the way, and that made them what they are, Those still with us, and were, those not. So does their genius, in doing so, compel us. theater of hallucination was not and can never be a solitary dwelling place, nor is there anything obscure in this theater. In the photos that Ira Cohen has returned to us as witness, we find a privileged place where the hallucinations we hold of ourselves, our friends, and our enemies find us amidst their reflections. Madness is not the apotheosis of reality by hallucination, but the eradication of reality from the hallucinations we have, however subtly, or tenderly, or brutally they appear to us.
shake the thought I've been here before. A cinematic deja vu with Capricorn percolating zebras and frail manner goliaths sipping storms through phantom white straws. The cat is the latch to the door called Nowhere. And tomorrow, a rice cake stolen by scarabs. Now I see as the leopard cat sees X-ray hearts in the haze, cantharide beetles 
molding their monuments of spit. Demerol lotions that ever so softly fall asleep. Asleep. Now I am a house for the leopard cat. Hurricane shutters all askew. Cane to gulf clouds and windy dresses pitched up around ruined city walls. The cat on the couch holds a bar of lightning. Frothy eyes an heirloom tomorrow. Thunderstorms suddenly drown us and white coral flames with daggers for eyes. Now I am the leopard cat, prey and stalker, opal reefs in the sentient night, tiny burning tears of mud. Hurricane shutters all askew, came to gulf clouds, thunderstorms suddenly drown us. That's a poem for you. That was for Ira Cohen and his yet unpublished book, A Dissolute Life Lived in the service of Allah.